Hey guys, I'm Sunu Gawal. I'm a working professional trainer in the Besant Technology. Besant Technology used to provide a training on the real-time experience, and uh, it, uh, we used to provide a training on the all the kind of technologies uh, like JavaScript and all like whatever the market technologies we have in that. So in this video, I'm going to be discuss about the uh, something like JavaScript placement in the HTML file. So in this video, we'll be seeing like uh, how to use the JavaScript code using using the HTML. And uh, how to place a JavaScript code with the HTML file. So let's go further on that. The first thing we have to discuss like what is JavaScript. So JavaScript is here like this is kind of like a scripting language. Okay, in that will be like implementing the making pages as a dynamic. Okay, so that is something like uh, once you have to make your web application dynamic, so you can use JavaScript code to be make the application same, and uh, that will be giving performance to you, and uh, that will be easy to be. Uh, give the uh, something like uh, what are the functionality you can achieve using the server side or uh, that you can achieve directly in the JavaScript part. So that will be saving you more connection to be uh, call the service layer. Uh, so which other things can be handled using the JavaScript at the client side at all. So okay, so let's see like uh, what are the things we have to be uh, discussed to be place the JavaScript code uh, to place in the HTML pages. So these are the ways we have. Uh, these ways like you can see here the like uh, first we have. Uh, a js in the head uh, section and the body section and js in the body section along with the head section okay so this is something combination of the these two about two okay uh, now fourth one we have the external file which is be loading to the js file that means says like whatever the js file you want to load it external file that also you can include in the html so we are going to be discuss the same thing uh, like uh, first we'll discuss about the like what is how to be do with the head tag and body tag and the body and the head tag along with that now uh, how to place with the js file the external file and uh, how we calling the using the html document the same okay so let's go further to be discussed now for the js in uh, hat tag like how it will be looks like uh, so that is the first thing like i'm going to discuss now uh, is saying like uh, this will be used while working on the some event so it says like uh, what are the events you want to create it from the html page with that you can call uh, this particular function so you can see in the hat tag i written one function that inside had uh, before that i uh, opening one script tag so that is available in the html so using that we can write our code javascript code inside that so and you have to specify like what type it is so i have written there the text javascript okay so that is containing like uh, this uh, code is this script is going to be contain the javascript code so and uh, i written there one function inside head so that function is what uh, that function has been written and uh, this function will be calling from the uh, i down i created one button Uh, inside body you can see that input type button on click inside hat and uh, values click here so click here button will be there once i click on that it will go to the inside hat function and it will call the hat hello world that will be coming as a uh, alert message now come to the second uh, thing like how to place in the body tag so that is also si uh, similar to the same like instead of hat tag we will be putting our code into the uh, body tag so that will be something like a script type uh, the text javascript and it will be loading while loading the document it will say like the hi js place inside the body now same uh, you can understand like uh, uh, if i want to make it as a combination of those so whatever the first thing we have discuss about the js in the hat tag and js in the body tag so i'll be uh, putting is all the together now okay so here you can see like uh, i made the um, like i made, i created one function inside hat inside the uh, hat tag uh, and uh, that is used by the script tag uh, which is available in the html and uh, now i have a one more thing is the body inside that i am going to play the hi js plus inside the body so once i'll uh, once i load this document to browser it is going to be come with the one button and it will uh, click here so once you click on that button hello world will be coming and following by the hi js plus inside the body so that is also one way to be uh, do the placement of the js inside the html file now come to the third thing uh, that is uh, like important also like uh, suppose like you created one js file okay so whatever the js file you have created in that js file uh, what are the function or what are the variables or what are the things you going to be use uh, we want to use that as a generic one okay so what you can do for that you can create a uh, one js file separately and that js file what you can do you can include in the into the uh, hat tag and uh, using the source thing so you can see here uh, what are the things i have written here the html head and script type the text javascript and source i'm going to be attach here that is external file.js so what it will be doing uh, it will be containing your external file okay so which is available outside and uh, whatever it will be containing so that uh, whatever the content is there like for any function or something so that we can use inside the html uh, using the body like how we we are calling that uh, function uh, in our previous things so you can see back uh, 
like how I was calling that uh, that the same way we will be doing that uh, you can see here the inside I had a value click here so whatever is available in that file that function suppose that function uh, which I uh, which I am going to be loaded into the my document suppose this inside that function is not available here that is function is available something in this tag uh, this file which I loaded xml file dot js okay in that you can call this uh, uh, function directly here so there is something like xml file dot js so what are the common function will be available that will be uh, no need to be right again and again so this will be something like code usability will be happen so this is the best way to do that if there is a something common function which is going to be used throughout the web pages all the web pages so that's the uh, that's the way to be do that uh, thank you for watching this video